Sports is one thing, academics is another. Um, transferring from school to school and then just believing in God, this is where I was supposed to be. A dream is something you hold close to you and never let go. It always comes back, even at the worst of times. Chris Hunter is a runner, but he hasn't run away from his dream. A dream to play college football, a dream to play in the NFL. He is an asset to any team. He's an asset to anything that he's a part of. Why? He gets his work ethic from his dad. He gets his dedication from his dad. Most parents probably give you the approach like, it's okay, um, don't be sad, you know. My dad's like, no, be sad, that's human. I mean, you have emotions, but don't dwell there too long. You gotta know that it's a part of God's plan. At Southern Nazarene University, Hunter flourished. His first season, he rushed for over 400 yards as a backup. The first four games of the next season, he was doing much of the same. As a starter, he rushed for 340 yards, but those would be his only recorded yards that season. In that season and the four games that I played in the next season, we didn't win any games I was there. And I was like, I just couldn't do it. I was like, hey, the way that they're, that they're running things is it's not working with me. Um, and I just, I got to the point, I was like, hey coach. Cause I, I wonder, I, I'm, I'm honest. Um, I told him after this, after the season, I'm probably gonna transfer. After being forced to quit, Hunter stole his huddle film and started sending it out. And who did you, like what schools did you send it to? Everybody. Everybody as in everybody? Everybody as in every Division One school on the Wikipedia website. Did anybody respond to you? Yeah, actually a lot of schools did respond. And that's how he ended up here. Hunter began training and perfecting his craft in order to pursue his dreams in an Oklahoma State football uniform. Cause it's, it's, you can train yourself, but it's, it's different when somebody's there out there with you. And we were training and I was, really, really overdoing it at some points. And a week before the tryout, I was, we were just doing a, one of our last few workouts before the tryout and I pulled my hamstring. With only a week to get healthy, Hunter was unable to make the team. But with his faith heavy on his shoulders, Hunter hopes to try out again in the fall. And after a month of rehab, we were there for his first steps back on the field. But as you can see, Grabbing his hamstring, he is still not 100%. Even with this, the biggest news was yet to come. So we're having a baby, and um, we can expect baby Trey here around July 18th. I don't know. He's just amazing. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing friend. I mean, anyone is lucky to, to know him and be a part of his life. If it doesn't work out here I do want to transfer it's just now that I have a kid you can't just up and move you know which is also been in thought but um, I don't think it's gonna I don't that's gonna be the problem I think I'm here for I think I'm here because God sent me here so it'll work out some way